We're talking this evening about artistic interpretation. As the artist goes beyond what is written in the score and creates something that makes the music theirs, what can we say about artistic interpretation? There's not much out there on that topic in the way of books even videos. A simple concept. Always leave yourself some place to move into. It's an interesting concept. Suppose that we're starting a piece of music. If you start with the volume really high, you have nowhere to go. If you start at medium, you can go up to high or you can go down. And if you start with a very low, you can go up. But at the start of a piece, you have to introduce the main theme. So it's probably not a good place to go too low in volume. You'll be playing with retardandos, slowing things up just a little bit or going ahead just a little bit over the beat. And you can you can do syncopation sometimes. You have many different effects, vibrato, and many different things that you can do. But again, leave yourself some room to go into it. And let me just start this Chopin Prelude Number no. 4 with Jim Rhodes, James Rhodes, and we'll talk about what this idea means again. You could hear it, but it wasn't overpowering. I didn't do this. Nowhere to go. So. Now I increase the volume just a little. fell back to a quieter note. Did it again. In each instance, an ebb, flow, back and forth with volume a little bit. And by doing that, you hold the audience's interest. Then, in a little bit here, we're going to be hitting one of the mini crescendos as we go to G sharp. I'll play that for you, and you'll go da 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 da. You'll hear what this sounds like. Listen for the ebb and flow.
as you heard that piece progressing through the very basic no 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 slight increase no 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 so it's kind of an answer it's kind of a call answer no 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 so it crescendoed some but not too much and came back to general why because there's more to come we want to leave room to go into that so you could have gone um Da 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 You'd blow. You'd blow it all out and there'd be nowhere to go. So I've left room to go. Left room to glow. Da da and then <clears throat> so anyway, and then da 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 na 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 then backed off. No, no, no. Why? Just gentle back. Now it makes more room. So I can move into the end with those very gentle things and then come up with. Um, what's that now? No, no, no. Quiet. Okay, so. If you were to listen to that over and over and over again, you would note that at every moment I was leaving myself somewhere to go, leaving myself somewhere to go, coming and going with volume, ahead or behind the beat, um, not too much use of any particular thing like vibrato where there's a little bit of vibrato, but uh, introducing the theme distinctly but not overpowering, okay? So it's, it's kind of a world of nuance. And, the way that you figure this stuff out is you play it a bunch of different ways and you decide, well, what do I think is pretty? You can also look at the dynamic marks in the music and it will provide you a general guide, but it doesn't go into this much detail. This is based on what you feel, what you feel. But the main point of this video is leave yourself something to move into in every move that you make. And then you'll end up with pieces that'll hold that audience and they'll feel something. Because it's a coming and going, coming and going, coming and going and drawing you 